All right, good morning, boys and girls. We are going to read our story for this week to you. Anytime you need to like hear it again or with a little help with the, some of the words, you can go back to our video. Earth's grossest animals. We've got weird, whoops, weird animals in the wild. What's gross in the wild? Some animals are gross because they are plain ugly. Some animals have really bad manners and some are deadly. A warthog will never win any beauty prizes. It has a lumpy head and big tusks. Its tusks are used for digging, fighting other hogs, and for defense against predators. The shorter lower tusks get razor sharp from rubbing against the upper pair when the warthog's mouth opens and closes. A warthog looks fierce, but it often runs away from a fight or hides in a burrow. It can run as fast as 34 miles per hour. A warthog holds its tail up like a warning flag when it runs. A slow loris left, I guess this is what this is called, a slow loris, looks cute, but it can be pretty gross too. It makes a lethal mixture of saliva and liquid from a gland in its elbow. The female covers her young with the liquid while she leaves to search for food. The smell deters most predators. If a predator bites a loris, the mixture can poison them. A male lion guarding the kill. Even though it is the female lions that do the hunting, the male lions always eat first. Figures. <laughs> After they eat, the females get their turn. When the females are finished, the cubs are allowed to eat. Lions don't have very good table manners. Freaky creatures. Some wild animals just look bizarre. This set selection have to be some of the weirdest looking creatures to walk this earth. This strange looking giant anteater can grow to seven feet long. An anteater has no teeth. It uses its long tongue to lap up the thousands of ants and termites it eats each day. It can flick its tongue up to 160 times per minute. The anteater uses its sharp claws to tear open anthills. An anteater can rear up on its back legs and lash out with its four inch long claws. Pink fairy armadillos have a cute name, but they don't look that cute. They are pink, about the size of a rat, and armed with huge claws on their forelegs. They can bury themselves under the sand in seconds. They also sand swim or paddle through the sand as though they were swimming through water. A pink fairy armadillo. The platypus, right, this right here, looks so weird. People used to think it was a hoax. It is one of the few mammals that lays eggs. It also has some pretty unusual ways to defend itself. The male platypus has sharp, poisonous spurs on its rear legs. When attacked, the platypus kicks and injects venom with its spurs. So a platypus' snout is actually quite soft and covered with receptors, which help the platypus find its prey. A platypus has a tail like a beaver, a body like an otter, has webbed feet, a beak like a bird, and it lays eggs. <laughs> Mixed up creature. Ugly monkeys. Monkeys are like humans in many ways. Not many people would want to look like these two, though. Neither end of a baboon is that pretty. <laughs> Baboons can be fierce, too. They eat fruits and roots, but also like to eat meat. They will hunt birds, rodents, and young, large mammals such as baby antelope. Male baboons scare off predators like leopards or cheetahs by forming a line and strutting in a threatening way. They bare their large canine teeth and scream. 
sharp canine teeth. It's showing us there those pointed teeth. Pro, pro Proviscus. Proviscus. Mm -hmm. That O oh, makes me. Proviscus means nose. You can see how the proboscis monkey below here got its name. Check out his nose. The proboscis monkey is the monkey's is the monkey world's best swimmer. It will leap from trees and hit the water with the belly flop. It has webbed feet and hands to help it swim fast. Crocodiles are one of its main predators. The male proboscis monkey uses his big wobbly nose to attract a mate. <laughs> Only another proboscis monkey would love him, right? I guess. <laughs> Only the males develop the long nose. Be easy to pick uh -huh. out the males from the female. Scientists think the proboscis monkey's large nose creates an echo chamber that makes the monkeys call louder. This impresses females and scares rival males away. <laughs> to each his own. <laughs> I guess monsters and dragons. The Gila monster and the Komodo dragon are both huge, fearsome lizards. One has deadly saliva and the other hunts deer. A Gila monster only eats between five and 10 times a year, but its meals are usually about a third of its body size. Prey is either crushed to death, swallowed whole, or bitten with its venomous jaws. The Gila monster loves to eat eggs and can track them with its great sense of smell. It can climb trees to find eggs or dig them up with its powerful claws. Gila monsters have been seen flipping over while biting their victims, probably to help the flow of venom into the wound. Komodo dragons often hunt their prey in groups, which is very unusual for a reptile. They mainly eat deer, insects, birds, and mammals. They also scavenge food whoops, that other animals have killed. Komodo dragons occasionally attack humans. They have about 60 jagged teeth, which they replace if they lose any. Their saliva contains deadly bacteria, which stops their victim's blood from clotting. Even if their victim or if their prey runs off, the dragons will slowly follow it as the victim will usually die from its wounds. So here's a Komodo dragon eating a goat. A Komodo dragon's saliva is often stained with blood because its teeth are almost completely hidden by its gums. The teeth break through the gums during feeding. Hmm. Amazing tongues. Several animals have amazingly long and useful tongues. A giraffe's tongue is around 18 inches long and very slobbery. A giraffe, left, uses its long tongue to reach high leaves. The giraffe's slimy drool coats prickly leaves and makes them easier to swallow. Giraffes like to wipe their slobbery faces on other giraffes. <laughs> Male giraffes taste the female's urine with their tongues to see if she's ready to mate. <laughs> A giraffe uses its long tongue to clean out its nostrils. Cattle like to clean out their nose with their tongue, and that's not their only revolting habit. Cows burp almost constantly to relieve gas from their stomachs. They can produce 74 gallons of gas a day from their front and back ends combined. <laughs> Stay away. Big cats use their rough tongues to clean themselves and each other. Their tongues have hooked, back, hooked backward facing spines that work like a hairbrush to detangle fur. A close up photo of a pet cat's tongue. I'm sure you've all felt a cat's tongue as it licks you. Anger management. Llamas and camels are close relatives in the animal kingdom. One thing they have in common are their bad manners. Llamas are very social herd animals but sometimes they spit at each other as a way of keeping lower ranked llamas in their places. You can tell how annoyed a llama is by its spit. The more irritated the llama is, the further back into its three stomachs it goes oh. to draw materials for its spit. <laughs> llamas fight each other by spitting, ramming each other with their chest, neck wrestling, and kicking mainly to knock each other off 
balance. Sound like a bunch of little boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about your mama when she's really mad and right in your face. Haven't she ever got mad or spit on you? <laughs> I think I've spit on my kids. <laughs> Camels are well known for being stubborn. They sometimes vomit on each other when they are angry. Camels can go for days without eating and drinking. They live off the stored fat in the humps on their backs. When camels do drink, they drink a lot. A very thirsty animal can drink 30 gallons of water in about 13 minutes. Wow. A camel can close its nostrils between breaths to keep the sand out. See, it's closed. This camel is looking for a mate. He frosts at the mouth and pushes an inflatable organ in his neck called a doula out of his mouth. He will also throw urine over his back with his ta with his tail. Oh, how attractive. <laughs> Only to a female camel. <clears throat> and then this is the glossary, which gives us the meanings of words in the book. Mm -hmm. And some websites you could go to. And then this is the index where we could look up specific things.